just over here on my land right now and watching the solar eclipse and I wanted to be close to nature because when you're close to nature you get a perspective of planetary influences that you may not necessarily get when you're in a city environment because you have a lot of unnatural sounds, a lot of unnatural sights that are consistently bombarded your senses and because of that your senses become accustomed to these sounds that oftentimes drowns out the natural sounds of your environment so that's why I wanted to be close to nature and I also encourage those of you to consistently strive to be close to nature because it grounds you um, in our lessons one of the things that we learn is that the sun and the moon have an attractive power on our planet while it is traveling at a terrific speed of 1037 and a third miles per hour on its way around the sun now those attractive powers of the sun and the moon don't always align themselves and that is essentially what a solar and a lunar eclipse is you have the sun and the moon aligning their attractive powers focusing it on the planet earth and that's a very significant and important time because that is not always something that occurs that sense of alignment therefore those planetary influences are much more powerful at that time as opposed to other times when you don't have that degree of alignment so I just wanted to take a moment to share my perspective on that and then also to encourage you to do further research on the attractive powers of the sun and the moon and why in various different cultures around the world, the sun as well as the moon were always used as symbols for various different forces of nature. So I will, this was inspiring, empowering, it was educational and just take an opportunity to do a little bit more further research on that as well as the symbolism around the eclipse and why this is such a significant moment for us in our lifetime. Peace.